All right, good morning, guys. It is a very brisk morning. It's well below freezing. Uh, when I left the house, we just got above like 32. I'm gonna do a short hike here and try and fish. Unfortunately, in some high winds uh, for some fall brook trout. Um, but I got my waders on, so I'm hoping that I can, uh, you know, push out to a little bit deeper water, see if I can find some of these fish. It's just a really beautiful sunrise right now in the Northern Rockies. So we'll get going here. It looks like one of the notices here says that the campground has been closed because of bear activity. So I do have my bear spray right there, um, but I'm hoping I don't run into any grizzies today, uh, but hoping for some brookies. So let's get going. Well, the bad news is, is it's way windier than they forecast. Uh, but I drove all this way, so I might as well at least give it a shot. I'm gonna run a spoon because um, I actually generally prefer spinners for brook trout, but um, throwing a spinner into this is gonna be a pain in the butt, so. Spoon it is. See if we can at least find a few fish before my hands get so frozen that they don't work anymore. There's a nice drop off right here, but uh, I haven't had any follows or anything here. Right off the bat. Keep trying to. I'll wait out a little bit further and see if I can punch it out there. There's one, got him right there at the bank. All right. That's a huge brook trout. Followed it right to the bank. <laughs> Woo, strip and drag. Nice fish. Right now. That is a big brook trout. Come here, buddy. Come on. Oh, it's actually a laker. That's crazy. A lake trout from the bank. That's nuts. Super cool. Barbell hook, so it came right out. We go take them over to the shore here. This is another non native char species. I didn't know that they were in this lake though. There you go, so that's a lake trout, sometimes called Mackinac. That's probably 18, 19 inch maybe. It's a nice fish. That's probably my biggest Mac from shore. There's a backcountry lake in Washington I catch some small ones on, but this is a really nice looking fish. Super cool. Alright, let's get this guy going. See ya. Oop. There you go. Big one. There you go. Get turned around there. Nice. Alright, well, not the char I was looking for, but it's pretty cool to catch catch one. Let's keep going, see if we can't get a, a brook trout. That one I cast out and let it fall a lot deeper, which I guess that makes sense why that produced a lake trout. They tend to hold deeper. Ooh, my hands are cold in this 30 degree weather with high winds. Oop, oh, I just missed him, dang it. Just had a bite right there. Normally I can see him, but there's just so much wave action right now. It's, Make it impossible for me to see what's going on. All right, not getting too much. So thinking I might, there's a pond back here that's connected to this main lake. I might uh, walk over there. It's a lot more protected from the wind. I just don't know if there's any fish in there, but I'm not getting bit here either. So guess we'll uh, see how it goes. Maybe I'll fish my way back there. 
see if I see anything, or get any bites. Like take, take five steps, throw a cast. Let's make it more enjoyable. I'd expect these fish to be pretty shallow. It's been getting really cold at night. It's been a lot of wind, which is going to release the uh, heat from the lakes. I don't think they're going to be out there deep. They're going to be feeding near shore and near the surface. No reason for them to be deep right now. It's a lot warmer with my back to the wind and the sun in my face. <laughs> Fishing this way, I'll say that much. I want to get out of this wind because if I'm out of the wind, I can start throwing spinners. And I feel like uh, that's a better producing lure for brook trout in my experience. They just seem to get more excited by spinners than they do by spoons. Lake trout will seem to seemingly hit anything. They might be the dumbest of the trout. Oh no. Oh no. That is not good. Well, and this is the problem with throwing light lures and high winds is you get these huge wind knots and wind loops and it's light braid and you lose like 10, 20 yards at a time. It really sucks. Okay. I'm gonna get re-rigged. Keep trying. I'm gonna head down. There's an inlet here that goes to this next pond. I gotta get out of this wind if I'm gonna fish effectively. Hopefully you just find a couple more fish before uh, I call it. All right, got that line situation solved. Let's see if we can't find a fish on the way to the pond or a fish in the pond. Something. I mean, one thing's for sure is I have never been anywhere that has weather as challenging as the east side of Glacier does for fishing. It is always windy and they are never accurate on the forecast. <laughs> oh, there we go. There's fish. Finally got one down here. Right at the very end. Right at the very end of the lake, right where the stream outlet is. Let's see what we got here. It's feisty. Woo! Oh, nice jump. Nice. I don't think that's going to be a brook trout with that jump, but maybe it will be. Can't see it in the sun there. It's a nice sized fish though. Oop, he's wrapped around my legs. It's a rainbow. Yeah, that's a nice sized rainbow. Awesome. Figured it would be a rainbow with that jump. I didn't know there were too many in here. All right, buddy. Let's get that spoon out of your mouth. There you go, that's a pretty rainbow. That's probably 15, 16 inches. It's not a bad fish. Very robust, very healthy looking. Really cool. I'll take that. All right, let's get him going. Oh, turn around, but there you go. <laughs> All right, so we've got a lake trout and a rainbow trout. I was hoping to get brookies today because I've heard that they're in this lake, but I'll take whatever, whatever bites. It would be neat to get a brook trout now though. See if I can get like a three species day here before my fingers fall off. So in Glacier National Park where I'm at today, they, and they don't plant fish anymore. Um, so all the fish here are just natural production. Now the rainbows are native, but the lake trout are not native, uh, neither are the brook trout. I might be selecting away from the brook trout by using the spoon, but as soon as I get into this uh, protected area back on the other side of these willows, I'm gonna switch up to a spinner, see if I can't find a brook trout. Nothing more. It's 
go check out this little pond. I don't know if it's going to be deep enough to hold anything, but we'll see. Beautiful view up the lake. It's just, it just sucks that it's blowing so hard. Okay, you can see this is a lot more wind protected than where it's just at. A lot smaller though too, so I don't know if there's going to be much of anything in here. I do a little rooster tail. This is a one eighth ounce. Open this smaller presentation with a little bit of marabou on there. We'll make a uh, one of these trout strike. Oops, fish following it. Come on, come on, come on, come on. It just won't commit. A lot of looky loos. That's the only thing that gets follows is the spinner. I'm gonna go try in this corner. If I don't get anything here, I think I'm gonna call it. Standing in this frigid water and on the wind blowing me, it's, um, the body temperature just keeps kind of keeps going down. I'm not getting warm. Sometimes these corners where the wind blows are the most productive because any wind blown insects should end up down here. Although I've only seen a few moths and such out moving today in these cold temps. Not getting many, many follows, not getting hardly any bites. Oh, oh there we go. <laughs> Guess I uh, spoke too soon. Nice. Let's see what we got here. Ooh, looks like it's gonna be really pretty brookie. The spawning colors. See lots of orange on them. Yeah, look at that. Beautiful brook trout. Three species today. Three fish, three species. That's great. Man, he's so pretty. There you go. Look at that gorgeous little brook trout. Definitely getting that fall color. Love those guys. They're so pretty. Awesome. All right, guys. I think I'm going to make that one my last fish of the day. It was tough fishing and really tough weather, but really beautiful scenery. And I got three species, brook trout, lake trout, and rainbow trout. I'm going to get this guy going. I'll see you guys next time. Just remember, fish smarter, not harder. Bye. Thanks.